Hello guys, good morning, it's Dr. Ranjit again. So today I am going to deal with two diagnoses, which is most often confusing in many PGMA entrants, not only for an undergraduate, but a postgraduate as well, right? So what we are seeing here, it's an endoscopic biopsy of the colon. Here you can see the colon is in bits and pieces. The disadvantage of an endoscopic biopsy is I will not see the muscularis propria, the transverse and the circular muscles and the serosa because obviously when you are going to pluck in from inside the intestine you don't want to perforate it right a surgeon will not like it so I'm going to have only the mucosa lamina propria maximum to the submucosal layer I'm not going to have the muscularis propria layer I'm going to show you another biopsy okay this biopsy is from a resected specimen of intestine where I can see the intestine mucosa submucosa lamina propria and the muscularis transverse as well as the circular muscles right there's a difference between two types of biopsies first I'll go to the first picture again so I'm going to show you a diagnosis before that I want you to appreciate how a normal intestine is going to look I'm not saying this is absolutely normal it's relatively normal this is going to be an intestinal gland rectus. so it's going to have a layer of cells outside and secreting cells and it's going to be absolutely normal like this I want you to capture the mental image of this because we are going to compare this with other findings right if you're clear yeah I'm going to go to the other field where the first finding which I'm going to show you is this is a crypt right whatever goes down below is called a crypt if you obviously know will I encrypt right so this is a crypt so the same crypt when I'm cutting it in a cross surface imagine like the section this is how it looks for example if I'm going to cut the script like this it's going to look like a rough right so I am going to call this also as a crypt first point so I'm going to zoom into a crypt I want you to imagine the mental picture of what I showed initially what is abnormal with this script is first it's not it's not exactly round it's distorted and when you see here there are few cells which is coming and trying to destroy the crypt right so these few cells are nothing but the inflammatory cells so I call this finding as cryptitis right I'm going to have cryptitis that's inflammation of the crypt first point I'm zooming out again so I'm going to the next piece of intestine this part right so I have another piece of intestine here if you can see here yes definitely the crypt architecture has been distorted and you can see something pale surrounded by dark region right it's a very very low power view if you can get it at this point great if not I'm going to zoom it up for you I'm seeing a central pink area right surrounded by inflammatory cells small round blue cells lymphocytes and obviously see this finding this is going to help you for the clue of what this is actually right what are these exactly they are giant cells right so I'm seeing giant cells and central pink area surrounded by blue. So this is a granuloma formation. So I'm having an intestine with the granuloma formation. First out, anywhere granuloma is going to be tuberculosis. Here I'm having granuloma formation and other finding which I showed I'm having crypt. Right, two findings. And one more finding which I want to appreciate here is the inflammation here starts from the epithelium. This is the epithelium. It goes down it goes down these are also inflammation the blue color this is also inflammation it goes down till where I see the biopsy this is part of a process called as transmural inflammation I'm not seeing a muscularis propria layer here because this is not a full thickness biopsy this is an endoscopic biopsy so I have three findings transmural inflammation cryptitis as well as my granuloma formation I think you would have made your diagnosis by now yeah it's exactly right it's a diagnosis of an inflammatory bowel disease Crohn's type right so these are diagnostic points of Crohn's I'm going to compare this with ulcerative colitis which is the most important differential diagnosis in this condition right this is an entire biopsy of a colon after a section so here first point if you can see this part is clear of inflammation right nothing it's absolutely normal the muscle layer absolutely normal no blue color it's a low power view no blue color so I'm not having transmural inflammation first point against my thing I'm looking at the entire biopsy I'm just scrolling through the entire biopsy I'm not seeing any pale center and rounder structure like that right I'm not seeing granuloma the first thought okay I'm trying to rule out Crohn's disease 
but I'm going to zoom in again what is this again yeah these are all crypts I'm zooming in further I'm zooming in further I'm zooming in further I'm going to the lumen of the crypt so in the lumen of crypt you can definitely appreciate there are few cells in the lumen of the crypt right these cells if you look they look like they have lobes they have lobed or bent nuclei and what are these cells if it's an inflammatory cell you will call them as yeah exactly right these are nothing but simple neutrophils and see see you can also appreciate there is a neutrophil in the wall as well right so I have cryptitis which is in the wall and I have neutrophils in the center of a crypt so example if you have a lump in your hand and you have lots of neutrophils in the center in inside the lump what do you call them as you call them as abscess so I am having the same finding in a microscopy inside a crypt. So what is this finding called as? Exactly right. This finding is called as cryptapsis. So I am seeing cryptapsis. I am seeing cryptitis in a slide where there is no uh, granulomas, no transmural inflammation. So cryptitis and cryptapsis, I want you to make it sure, register in your mind, which is non-specific. It is not specific for either ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, right? So I'm in this finding, I'm seeing cryptitis and cryptapsis. So what makes me diagnose, this is a slide of ulcerative colitis. So what makes me diagnose, yes, this is ulcerative colitis and nothing else. For this, is a very, very specific finding. This layer, a ti tiny streak of pink layer, whatever you see, is called as muscularis mucosae, right? And normally, crypts will come till the muscularis mucosae, till this, it'll almost touch. In case of ulcerative colitis, they don't touch, they recede back. And this area between the edge of the crypt and the muscularis mucosae, I call it a basal area. Imagine a basal area of epidermis, right? Similarly, I call this basal area. And inflammation, particularly pertaining to this basal area, is specific for ulcerative colitis. If you can go through this biopsy, see here, muscularis mucosae and this basal area. I'm zooming it up same basal area i'm zooming it up i'm zooming it up again for you for your convenience i'm zooming it up yeah excellent you can see you can see inflammatory cells in this basal area right this is very very particular for ulcerative colitis here you can see a mixed inflammatory infiltrate where you can see neutrophils which i'm pointing here you can see lymphocytes and few plasma cells as well basal inflammation is very very particular very very specific for ulcerative colitis and in specific, if it's a basal plasma cytosis, that's a hallmark of ulcerative colitis, right? So we have seen two diagnoses today. I'm just going to compile them. First picture, first diagnosis, I'm seeing granulomas, giant cells, you saw cryptitis. Here you are seeing cryptitis. And again, you are seeing inflammation throughout the intestinal biopsy. So transmural inflammation, cryptitis, cryptapsis, granuloma formation for Crohn's disease. Register this in your mind. And for ulcerative colitis, I'm going to low power again. No transmural inflammation, no granuloma formation. Yes, but you will see cryptitis as well as cryptapsis, which means that's non specific, not for both, but which is specific for ulcerative colitis is your basal region inflammation, especially basal plasma cytosis. Thank you. Meet you once again with another set of slides. Good day. Have a good day.